Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at a 2000 Silverton 396 motor yacht. I hope you enjoy this B-roll and then I'll take y'all through a detailed walkthrough of the boat. This boat is for sale, so check the description down below for a link to the full ad. Now that that nice juicy b-roll is out of the way, I'm going to start here in the aft deck and then we're going to work our way around and uh, hopefully you'll get a good idea of what this boat has to offer. Taking a look back now, here is the ladder well to get up into the aft deck and panning across you'll see there's plenty of room for uh, all your sun deck needs. So looking forward from where I was just sitting, you'll see we have some nice storage right above the sink and cutting board. More storage down below the sink and this used to be where uh, either fridge or ice maker went but anybody who's owned a boat knows those are almost always the first things to go. Just two quick steps up into the helm and uh, let me flip you all around so y'all can take a look at all the gauges and switches and all the good stuff you want to see. I'm gonna do a slow pan across the helm. We do have a radio here as well as GPS radar. This is the original model from 2000, so it could use a little bit of upgrading. Up across the top of the dash, we do have your engine gauges, all the info you could ever need or ever want. Spotlight controls, throttles, anchor windlass, which is nice. Ignition keys, blower motors, stereo electronics, you have your courtesy lights, panel lights, anchor lights, port fuel, starboard fuel, horn, parallel start. That's your uh, parallel switch for your batteries. Bow up, bow down, trim tabs. Trying to get the best shot I can of this. We do have a bench seat just forward of the helm for uh, all those extra passengers that don't want to sit by the captain, but still want the best view in the house. One of my favorite features about these Silverton models is these four steps that lead you to the bow. You have nice handrails that go all the way up, almost to your hip. So uh, there's almost no chance you go overboard. But if you don't mind stairs, then you will absolutely love these walkways. They go all the way around and back up to the other side before you get to the sun pad. Speaking of sun pad, you can easily fit two people up here. It'd be a good spot to play a prank on anybody who's sleeping under there. They could wake up to a, to a full moon if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but other than that, you can fit two people on here nicely and it's 200 degrees outside. So I am just absolutely melting right here. But underway, it would be nice. And now for the part I've been waiting for, because like I said, it's 200 degrees outside. This thing has three AC systems. So uh, I was very much looking forward to coming inside the cabin. As you can see, we have a nice L-shaped couch that you could probably fit five or six people on, depending on how close you want to cozy up, how much you like your passengers. This pulls out into a bed so you can get another berthing out here uh, for those passengers that get a little bit less privacy than the rest of them. Got a nice ottoman with plenty of storage on the inside. If you take a look over here, you can see we have a nice entertainment system, stereo, TV, uh, and some more storage. All the storage needs you could ever need. All the storage space you could ever need. Storage. Moving forward to the entertainment center, we have the dinette. You could probably sit another five, six people here. Again, depending on how much you wanna. Moving forward to the entertainment center, I already said that. It's hot. Did I mention it's hot outside? Woo! Uh, this does not turn into a birthing, but it's pretty long and I would show you, but then my feet would be in the frame and that's going to cost extra. Moving into the galley, as you can see, it is a full-size galley. It has pretty much everything you could need in here and it's directly across from the dinette. So when your kids are hungry and yelling at you, you can't escape. You're just going to listen to it until the food's ready. As you can see, we have a oven with stovetop burners, plenty of storage all the way around. You got a coffee maker. He's got a Black & Decker toaster oven in here, deep sink, microwave, and fridge. It's not a full-size fridge, but it's bigger than a mini fridge. Here is what would be the day head. Uh, somebody is living on this boat full-time, so he's just turned it into his storage. Uh, I don't want to show you too much. <laughs> got a skivvies laying around. Uh, but as you can see, it's a good size bathroom with a full size stand up shower, which is nice. You don't have a wet bath, especially on a 40 foot boat. 
Moving as far forward as we can go into the forward berthing, we do have a nice queen size bed. Uh, it is quite large, as you can see. I'm just, I'm about, I'm about six three. Just kidding, just shy of six foot. Uh, as you can see, I can lay comfortably, and you could easily have somebody else here. It is basically a queen size bed, although it is shaped a little funny, like most of these beds are. You do have access from this room into the day head, uh, two full size stand up lockers, as well as a hatch above. Like I said earlier, somebody staying in there could quite possibly wake up to a full moon since it is right where the sun pad is at. Now here is the moment you've all been waiting for. Now here's the moment you've all been waiting for. I know because you wanted to know what the captain's quarters look like. Where you're gonna be spending all your nights. As you can see, we have a nice queen size bed with plenty of storage over here. You got drawers and countertop space for your phone, iPad, reader, newspaper, whatever you do or need next to the bed. Lotion, you tell me. You got plenty of space for it. Over here, we do have a nice locker. As you look inside, you can see plenty of room for for plenty of room for your clothes, shoes, items that you might keep in a closet. Looking into the master head, I'm tired of talking, so we're just gonna scan through. You have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing. I will see y'all in the next one. And check out this stand-up shower. Full size, no wet heads on this boat. Gotta love it.